Hello, in this tutorial I am going to show you how to interface Arduino with Simulink in MATLAB. So just open the MATLAB. I have 2014 so if you have the updated version that's not a very big issue because most of the things are similar. Okay, so let's get ready. Click on this add on button and then get hardware support packages. Now install from the internet next. Uh, just click one more time. It is some error. Okay, now you have all these uh, list of the supported packages uh, for the sampling for the MATLAB. So you don't need to install all this one. I'm going to install just Arduino Duo. Here it is the AT ARM Cortex A. -A the beagle bone here here it is the beagle bone board and the raspberry pi also so i'm just installing the arduino nano arduino click next so they are asking about to login if you don't have the matlab account so you just you can make it it will take uh, less than two minutes i have already one so i'm going to just log in Okay, accept it. Click next. Next. Install. There is some setting error, so click just one more time. Maybe you don't have this issue. So there, these are the, the, all the packages uh, about the Arduino uh, and it is direct, directly downloading from the internet. It will take them some time like uh, 5 to 6 minutes. Uh, they are asking about the permission, click yes. So the downloading is started and it will take minimum 5 minutes, that's it. Now uh, just click on the finish button and uh, that's it all the packages have been successfully downloaded and installed. Okay I'm going to uh, demonstrate you how it works with the help of a very, very basic example. Uh, you can also take some advantages of this help button. So just click on it and write Arduino. Here is a list of uh, help you can take it from Arduino hardware, how it is connected and how to generate PA, PWM, TCIP and many other options, uh, digital output, digital input, serial transmit. So there are so many things uh, you just you can learn from it. Okay, so I'm, uh, this is a very basic example I'm going to explain. Just click on the Simulink module. Click on the library. And after installing the packages, uh, this is the option appearing. And in this, the, there's a common setting and the Ethernet shield, Wi Fi shield, examples, uh, lots of examples also there. So it's depend on your uh, like uh, uses and it is very important from uh, the perspective of like uh, someone don't have uh, the very good command over the code so they can they are able to write the code uh, with the help of building the blocks 
so click on this uh, common digital output digital input so all these are the things that you are aware of the Arduino I'm going to select this digital output here I'm going into the sync option this code and resources that's it close this thing and open this okay so I'm going to make some connections over there Uh, remember one thing that if you are uh, using the Arduino Uno, so the 9th pin is the default pin and I'm using the Arduino Mega so I'm changing this to the pin number 13 and apply the changes. Okay, choose the properties and uh, just double click on it. So there are some, some parameters uh, for these pulses. Number one parameter is uh, first thing is to uh, select a uh, time based signal from here. Set the amplitude 5 volt and it is asking about the time period of this pulse so I'm setting just one second and this is the pulse bit modulation like how many percent uh, your signal is on and how, how many percent the signal is off so I'm just setting the 50 percent that means the 50 percent of this pulse is on and the 50 percent of this pulse is off remember it is all always uh, here uh, with respect to the on time Okay, apply this. Play on it. Okay. You can also check it from here. This is the 5 volt amplitude and 50% on, 50% off. Okay. So the next thing is. Uh, just uh, connect your Arduino with your laptop click on this tool button run on target hardware where to run after connecting your Arduino with your laptop uh, just select your device from here like uh, Arduino Mega 2560 apply that's it so uh, and another important thing is that just select your com port not automatically but the manually and check what's the com port number for that uh, click right click on uh, go into the properties of my computer device manager and here it is the com ports so you are connected with the uh, com port 4 so just it compote for here and apply the changes and click OK. Now to save your file, I'm going to save on the desktop. And another thing is that you should also need to change the directory from here, like your desktop select the next button otherwise it will give some errors now now that's it all the things have been done just click on this play button and click on this deploy to hardware so the your code is very uh, simply uh, written on the back end and upload it to your Arduino Mega. That's it. Now you can check it on the cardboard.